Disclaimer, this video is made for comedic, entertainment, and or parodying purposes. Don't anybody get mad. Don't anybody try to sue your boy. Y'all already know that the junk in the front of my pants is already small. I don't need to lose a little bit of dollars that I got to, okay? So here's the deal, right? Years ago, I made some videos about Cardi B and whether or not she's a racist. Back in 2017, about five years ago, because it's 2022 now, I told you guys back then, Cardi B, despite those tweets where she was calling people names like roaches, etc., and she actually, I think, allegedly called somebody's deceased child a monkey. I don't think that Cardi B is a racist. Can I prove that she's not a racist? No. But I, what I will tell you is this. But first, click the thumbs up button. Click thumbs up while you're listening. Make sure you at least say hi in the comments. Let me know whether or not you think that she's a racist. Say, yes, I think she's a racist. Or I know she's a racist. Or of course not. Okay, let me know in the comments below. That helps with the algorithm. Cardi B went up on, I think it was Instagram Live or something. She did like a video or two or three where she appeared to be in blackface and people were like ha see this is proof that she's a racist let me explain something to you guys women have beauty regimens right and they put all types of stuff on their faces okay green masks clear ones black ones brown ones it just depends on what company made it and what the ingredients were and whatnot what type of materials made for whether it was the liquid kind the gel kind or the one that's like the paper ones or whatever Basically, long story short, Cardi B had on a face mask for her beautiful skin. So this was not her in quote blackface. OK, she's not Ted dancing. And for the record, I have some pictures and some information. I already made the one about Drake years ago, because remember when Drake was in blackface, allegedly remember that sh that from back in the day Well, stay tuned for my videos about Azealia Banks, alleged blackface, Black China, alleged blackface and well Vicky alleged blackface make sure that you watch those videos okay guys I'm not saying that anybody's racist but make sure you watch those videos when I post them I'm gonna post this one in the series first and if you want to find the videos just type this in on the YouTube search meat magazine not meek with a K meat M E E T meat magazine blackface video series because that's what I'm gonna put on all of the videos so then that way if somebody searching for them they can find them all at the same time okay and for legal reasons I, you know all of the information in this video was all alleged just for entertainment comedic and parodying purposes cardi b the hashtag gangster snitch does sue youtubers as we all know i'm not trying to get it messed up with her you know she's not out here playing she's out here watching youtubers and picking fights so you know i don't want to be a part of any of that foolishness all right y'all she got a million and one lawsuits against her but she, yeah, she's worried about fighting with youtubers over words the habitual shoe thrower that's my problem with Cardi B is the violence, the gang crap, stuff like that. OK, but one thing we don't have to worry about her being is a damn racist. She's a lot of things. She's a hood rat. She has a, a, she goes up and down. Sometimes she's sour. Sometimes she's sweet. Sometimes she's like one of the nicest people you ever meet at others. She acts like a. I just realized that she's a Libra, but she has a Gemini spirit. And like I always told you guys for years now, I love Cardi B. I don't just like Cardi B. I love Cardi B, I care about her on a deeper level than you guys do, because a lot of you will encourage her to, you know, react with violence or, you know, to talk crap to people online. And, and I've been saying for years, you know, I like her so much that I want her to do better than that because she just has all of the potential in the world. If you want to see my old videos about Cardi B and the subject of racism, just type in meat magazine. Cardi B racism must warn you. I defended Cardi pretty heavily back then. OK, I still defend her now because this is one thing that I'm not going to let happen is let her name be soiled with nonsense like about her being racist because it's just not true if you want to say that she's you know i don't know violent crazy threatening you know she's a dangerous person or stuff like that i can understand that because she has said some shit that could lead a person to, to think that but to say that she's a racist I, I just don't believe that the jokes that she's told and i don't think that the insults i mean when you're in, a, in an argument you talk shit that's that's the whole point and she's from the bronx and that's what they do they hit you with low blows or as erica Mena would say you can't handle my mouth mother bleep that's how they get down in the boogie down bronx that's why they call it the boogie down because they get down but anyways happened, guys not only is kitty day in the house of cordy b it's also beauty day in the house of cordy b you know i got my face mask on and i got my little tiny waist waist trainer on you know waist trainers are important because while you exercising them, bitch you sweat your stare of your stomach and they sculpt you. That's what waist trainers do. They sculpt and curve your body, you stupid bitch. 
Oh, one more thing before I go. Cardi B, for if, I don't know if y'all think she's white or something, but if you look at how Melanie, especially like look at her sister Hennessy. You see how <laughs> dark she gets. You don't get dark like that without a whole lot of melanin being up in your skin, okay? A lot of you people who are talking shit about Cardi B are less black than her, okay? I'm not saying Cardi B is black, but she's definitely mixed, okay? She's like basically like a, a mulatto. I hate to use that term. Same thing with Erica Mena, Cincy Santana. These girls have so much melanin in them. A lot of you people are not even as black as they are, okay? For the record, like Jordan Woods is mostly non-black. Did you know that? I talked about that. Just type in Meat Magazine, Jordan Woods DNA test and the video should pop up. I talked about Keisha Cole. Oh, no, I didn't talk about that yet. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be talking about Keisha Cole because Keisha Cole is mostly white and Asian. Keisha Cole is not black. She's mixed. It's like Jordan Woods, Jody Woods, Elizabeth Woods, Erica Menacen, Santana, Cardi B, Hennessy, Carolina. These are all mixed women. They all have that hashtag mixed girl magic that I can't seem to get enough of. Anyway, shout out to my mixed girls. If you're mixed, please let me know in the comment section so I can tell you that I worship you. I mean, if you're mixed, please let me know in the comment section. That goes to you mixed Latinas. Ow. Let me know in the comment section so I can tell you how fly you are. Cardi B is one of the most beautiful women ever, before or after the surgery. Even when her face was cut open in the middle of the surgery, she still looked better than you haters. Anyways, Cardi gets on my last damn nerve a lot of the time. But one thing I'm not going to do is let her name be slandered and soiled by a lie like that she's a racist. And remember, when she was in quote-unquote blackface, it was just a damn face mask. People, please grow up. Before I go... The secret password to let me know you made it all the way into the end of this video is Ted. You know, like Ted Danson? Because Ted Danson really wore blackface. Remember Whoopi Goldberg's ex? Yes, Whoopi Goldberg from The View or whatever that show is that she's on? Yeah, that heifer. Remember when she was on that red carpet? I forget where she was at. Somebody please let me know where they were at. Remember when Ted Danson popped up wearing blackface? That was real blackface, not fake blackface. Anyways, Ted is the secret password. Click the thumbs up button right now. Click thumbs up. Damn it. Subscribe. Choose all notifications to let me know that you listened all the way to the end of this video. You know what to say. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, choose all notifications. By the way, before I go, Cardi B, if you're listening, just just stay offline. If you can't handle criticism, because that's what people are going to criticize people online. You wouldn't believe the shit that people say about me. People have said all sorts of evil stuff about me. They threaten my life, threaten my family, they, you know, all, all types of stuff. This is, this is just what comes with the territory. And I'm not saying it's right, and I'm not making any excuses. I'm not sitting up here making excuses for those people. I'm just saying that there's evil people out here. They say evil things. They do evil things. And th that's just the internet. Well, that's just, just life. You're from the Bronx. You know, imagine them goons and hooligans and, and crackheads and all sorts of just evil MFers that you grew up around on a computer or a phone. Yeah, same people. But they're just online, bringing their mayhem to the internet. That's all it is. It's the same demons, okay, for the record. So while you're out here crying about, oh, somebody said this or somebody said that on the Internet, th those are just the, 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 the demons that you live next door to. It's the same people. The only difference is they got a Wi-Fi or some other sort of connection to where they're connecting to Web 2.0, because that's where I'm right now about to go into Web 3.0 in the metaverse. But anyways, click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications. All right, y'all. I got to go. I'm about to go jack off on Cardi B's Instagram or something. You stupid bitch. <laughs>